Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is April, and if you are new here, I like to share about all kinds of things on my channel, mainly just things that I love. So my family, vacations, products that I love, you know, all the things. And so today I figured I would do something a little different for me, and that is to make a favorites video. So this is going to be for the months of May and June, um, because I just kind of did it collectively because a lot of things happened in May and a lot of things happened in June and I figured they'd be fun to share about them all because there's really not all that terribly much but it's enough to talk about. So also if you can hear me trying to be a little bit quiet, my daughter is actually taking a nap in the room beside me so I'm trying to keep my voice down as much as possible. So if that annoys you, I apologize. So I was trying to be responsible by categorizing, or categorizing all of the things that I'm going to be talking about. So fingers crossed it like works out or makes sense to you. So that's my disclaimer. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to be starting with food and drink. I'm looking because I have my pile here beside me. So starting with food and drink, I have... I have this creamer, which I'm using my front facing camera and I need to stop doing that. So I do apologize. So it is Silk's Oat Creamer and it is delicious. This is the sweet oat latte. You can tell that I've used it. It's dirty. Um, but all of these Silk Oat Creamer flavors are delicious. They are not bitter. I don't know if I'm the only one, but whenever I use like dairy creamer, I really don't like there's like a bitter flavor especially if it's a flavored creamer like if it's like a sweet cream like I don't notice it as much but I still feel like I notice it and with this oat creamer it's like lighter and like fuller it's like it's just tasty it's like really creamy and delicious the sweet oat latte is my favorite though I will say it doesn't it's just like just like a sweet cream but it's delicious so good next I have liquid IVs which I've used liquid IVs for years and years and years but this summer at least i think it was this summer i don't know maybe they've had these flavors for a while but i saw them this summer and i figured i had to get them and it is this sugar-free rainbow sherbet sorry i don't know if it's focusing or not yeah, sugar-free rainbow sherbet um flavor and i love it i think it's just really tasty and it's sugar-free so i don't know if that matters to anybody but I really didn't get it for that fact. I got it just because the rainbow sherbet was appealing to me and I just I thought it was tasty. It's good. And then the other one is not sugar free and it is this popsicle firecracker flavor. Love it. It's so good. This is the first one that caught my eye. I will say this the way that I have to drink this one. I guess I don't have to but I choose to drink it is I will do like a 16 ounce glass of water and I will put like half of it in there and then I will do two. So I'll end up drinking like two cups worth of it. Sorry if I'm out of focus here, um, but I like it. It's kind of, it's stronger. I think like all the ones that have like sugar are kind of a little bit stronger, but I really like it still. Lastly, in this category, I have Olipop, which I've been a huge fan of Olipop for years pretty much ever since they stopped selling live sodas at Walmart I think I don't know I think it was a couple years back I think it was about three years at least in the Walmarts near me I haven't found live soda in ages and I actually think I looked into it to ordering it online and I think they like rebranded or like just like stopped selling it in cans they started selling it solely in glass bottles so with that being said, this started showing up at all of our local grocery stores and I've, I'm have i obsessed with it basically. So um, this is the peaches and cream. This is the Barbie version. Um, so it is a special edition, I suppose. It's very good. I love this one. All the cream. So I was actually telling a family member to try these. And she was like, I, I've tried only ones that are like creamy. And she was like, I don't like those. And I was like, those are all the ones that I like. So I do like the watermelon. I like them all. <laughs> like literally, I love all of them. I haven't found one that I'm like really not into. Um, the bananas and cream is like a dessert to me. I love that one. Same with this one, peaches and cream. So um, these are like a huge thing for me. I love them. I just think they're, they're so good. This is like what I've been using as like 
a treat at night or like I say at night but like uh, during like the summer it's been like my sweet treat and I love it so that is the end of my food and drink category now we're gonna get to um, what did I call this category I haven't had as home decor and products during this favorites video, I don't think I have any actual home decor. It's mostly just products that I wanted to share. Okay, so first on my products that I wanted to share is this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Scrub. And I have the lotion as well, which they're both like a whipped. This one's a whipped lotion and then this one is the scrub. I'm obsessed with these two. Um, I love this actually it says it's a firming scrub I don't know if you can see that since it's backwards um it says it's a firming sugar scrub I didn't get it for that reason same with the lotion it also says it's firming I just got it because the smell is like it smells so good it's like um it's like a warm smell but it's also it just smells perfumey it's not like floral I don't think it smells floral and it's not like vanilla -y either it's just like a really nice like warm smell it smells so good so these have been my go-to it's like so it's like helped so much with the texture of my skin um i've been on this whole um self-care journey actually in the last few months as well and this was part of it and it has helped so much i just love it i'm obsessed with it my skin is so soft now love these so that's number one. Secondly, in this category, I have a vitamin C serum. So like I said, I've been on this self-care journey here. And um, part of that has been to get better about my skin. So starting with those and then starting with this, I've been using CeraVe. Um, I think it's the SA cleanser, which is like the salicylic acid cleanser and the daily moisturizing lotion on my skin. And so I was like, I need to start working in a vitamin C because I've heard it does wonders for people and I can attest to that. I do feel like it has made a lot of difference in my skin. I still obviously get breakouts. I'm sure you can see that. But um, it's like really helped brighten up my skin. I don't feel like I constantly need to like put products on my skin. I was actually re-watching some of our old Disney vlogs. I say old Disney vlogs. The vlogs that we made back in the end of March and early April. And I was looking at my skin and I was like, oh my gosh, like I can definitely tell a difference in my skin now after using this and adding this to my routine. And so I just love this. This is actually just the advanced clinicals. It's only like a $5 thing that I got from Walmart, but um, I definitely feel like it's made a big difference and I didn't want to spend like a ton of money on a product that I've never used before and I'm trying to get into the swing of using good skincare. So that is that loving this. Like I said, I can just tell a big difference in my skin and I just love that. Okay, so another big one that I was going to talk about, which I'm talking, I'm like kind of tossing around the idea of making a full on video about these. Um, just because I love them, I feel like I'm talking to everybody in my life about them. And that is the Magic Candle Company scents. So I've talked about this quite a lot, actually. And I did a daily vlog recently, or maybe it was a weekly vlog. Yeah, it was a weekly vlog. And I talked about that and placing an order. I talked about my um, Grand Floridian candle that I actually received at basin from the grand and talking about how like the lady if you haven't watched that i will link that above for you but i was basically saying that the lady that worked at basin said if i wanted other products other than just the candle or soap and the grand floridian scent that magic candle company has a scent that smells exactly like it so i went ahead and ordered an order from Magic Candle Company and I actually ended up getting a car air freshener. It just says air freshener. I kept looking for car air freshener, but I only got it said air freshener and it's it's a car air freshener like you would hang on your mirror and it smells just like it. It smells literally just like it. So, highly recommend that. Highly recommend that. But beyond that, I also ordered I have a lot of different ones, but I'm not going to go through all of them right now. Um, but I'm going to go through the newest ones that I've ordered because they've been a hit for me lately. And the main one I've been diffusing, I always get their oils, their fragrance oils, because I have a diffuser and I just really enjoy putting them in there. It's, they're really strong smelling, not in a bad way though. 
So like you, it's not like you put it in there and you can't smell it. Like you can definitely smell this. This is Pirate Life and smelling it on its own. Sorry, I know I'm out of focus now. Smelling it on its own. It doesn't like, <laughs> it's not like you would smell it and be like, yeah, that smells great. Um, but it's really just supposed to smell like Pirates of the Caribbean, like the ride. And between the smell of the water and the smell of like, um, I don't really know. It's like the smell of the stuff that they use in there, like the smoke and stuff like that. It smells like this and it smells so good. And I actually diffused it the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I smell Magic Kingdom. And Rob was like, it smells so good. Rob's my husband. He was like, it smells so good in here. And I was like, I know, it smells like Magic Kingdom. So um, I bought that one and then because of that, I wanted to order the Splash, which is supposed to smell like the log for flume rides at Magic Kingdom, just like the smell of the water. Um, and it's called Splash. And this is what it looks like. I will show it to you here. So like a log flume ride. And um, now I'm out of focus. And it smells similar to the Pirate Life, but you can tell that there's actually like a that smells so good. Okay, so here's the thing. It's another one like Pirate Life where when you smell it, you're kind of like, oh, that smells weird. But then you're like, if you diffuse it, you're like, oh my gosh, it does smell like it. But it smells like the water at on the log flume rides. It smells so good. I, I'm obsessed with it. You can definitely tell a difference between Pirate Life and Splash. But if you smell them, like, you'd have to like smell for it. Like you have to, I don't know. I just really, I really like it. I highly recommend it. And then one more thing by them that I wanted to share. Okay, and that is this Banshee Flight hand sanitizer. So I bought Banshee Flight's fragrance oil by them. Um, gosh, probably back in 2020, whenever we had the lockdown, of course. But um, highly, I like made everybody I knew smell it and actually it's funny because out of like my family circle like my husband and I Rob and I are the ones who go to Disney World most frequently so like a lot of our family members didn't know how to identify that smell they were like oh that's interesting it's a different smell but like anybody that has been there would be like oh my gosh yes it smells just like it so this is the hand sanitizer which I think is a fairly new release to what they offer their scents in and it's a spray so it's like I'm not honestly hip with like the popular stuff out in the world these days um but I know there's a very like high-end branded hand sanitizer that it's like sprayable um I don't know what it's called so if you know go ahead and leave it in the comments but it's very much like this but it's actually almost moisturizing so I don't know if you can see but there's like a sheen to my hand and it's like a moisturizing hand sanitizer spray. And it smells so good. It's like a perfume almost. So like when you spray it on you, you definitely carry that scent with you for the rest of your day. So it it smells so good. It it just smells just like Banshee Flight. Or I say Banshee Flight. It smells just like Flight of Passage when you're on the Banshee. There's a, there's a smell in that ride. You get it. So I have two more products that is left in this category and then we're going to move on. And um, the first one, I have been keeping these both in my pool bag. Um, I have a bag that has like all of our summer essentials basically in it. I will show that actually in just a minute for you because it's actually still in this category. But one of the things, I just <laughs> brushed my hair with it on accident. Um, one of the things is this Tangle Teaser brush. So it is a brush that has no rounded, like separate pieces on the edge of the bristles. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about when I talk about a rounded piece. But on like the wet brushes, there's like a head to each little bristle and sometimes those like fall off or your hair gets snagged on these and this one doesn't on top of the fact that there's two different sized bristles inside of there so there's a longer one and a shorter one something about this has made brushing mine and my daughter's hair so much better so this is this just the travel size that i've actually recently purchased for our swim bag 
but I have a full size version of this brush and I am full on obsessed. I was really into the wet brushes when those were pretty new. I actually went to cosmetology school and that was something that was given to us in our like kits for school is a wet brush and I really have, I still like them. Um, but this to me has blown them out of the water. I know the Unbrush is also really popular right now for very similar reasons. Um, they actually don't have like, there's like not a solid back to their brush. So it's like, it, it's like breathable or something. I don't know. I've tried that. It also works great, but this one is a little bit less money and is still just as effective. So highly recommend them. This is called the Tangle Teaser brush. I don't know if you can see it actually is. I'm holding the next product in my hand. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It says Tangle Teaser. It's like, in, it's like scraped into the, <laughs> that's not the right word for that, but it's like embroidered into, there. embroidered is also not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, highly recommend. This is, I just got this one. I think this one was like 10 to $13 on Amazon, but I was actually at Target and I think I saw the full size of exactly the same shape and everything for like $15. So, you know, whatever. And then the next thing on this category is, sorry, I'm out of focus here, is this Suave Kids Detangler. So a little bit of a backstory is that my cousin and I both used this detangler when we were growing up, only we used the crazy apple scent. And my cousin is like super into just like all products and stuff. Like she loves beauty products of all different kinds. So she purchased this on a whim one day, only she got the crazy apple scent. And um, they have a pool, we go over there and swim, which is why I have this in my pool bag. And um, so after we got out, she was like, here, use this in your hair to help, you know, it not tangle and whatever after we got done swimming. So I used it and my hair was so soft and shiny. It was next level. So I went ahead and I purchased the same one of these. This is the Berry Awesome flavor, but I got it in the Tangled Scent, which is a whole other story that I will get to later on. And it smells so good. Um, it's like a very, it's a very potent smell, but it doesn't, it smells like it's supposed to. It's like, it smells like a, a conditioner would, but it makes my hair so soft and shiny. Um, same for my daughter. My daughter has this patch in the back of her hair that I guess like because her hair still like rubs on her car seat or like rubs on, I don't know, whatever. Um, it it gets like really matted in the back of her head and so I have been like drenching her hair in this and her hair is so soft and shiny now like pretty much regularly um she doesn't tangle as much back there anymore this stuff is just like amazing I have very thick very coarse hair so it takes a lot for my hair to be weighed down so if you have very fine hair um you might want to be a little like less heavy handed with this stuff, but I like douse my hair in this. I do the same thing with my daughter and she still has that really fine, like soft baby hair and it doesn't make her hair look greasy or anything like that. So it is what it is. It's a very unusual, I mean like there's so many high end brands and then this is what I'm talking about, but I am telling you guys, it makes my hair so soft and shiny and just like it feels healthy. It's amazing. So that has been a huge, huge one for me um especially during the summer season but I've bought multiple bottles of this stuff and I just kind of like keep it for all kinds of different things like this is for my pool bottle or my pool bag and then I also have one that I keep in just like my everyday like bathroom drawer for my daughter and I so whenever we do our hair we can spray it in there it's amazing highly recommend okay so now that we've talked about all the stuff that I put in my pool bag I'm going to talk about my pool bag specifically and it is actually by Amy's Small World so if you are unfamiliar I actually have a full video that I just released last week at this point it's last week um so if you're interested in that I will link that above for you but I love her bags I've been using this one as a summer pool bag type situation um because it's so big and the material is really easy to clean so i have all of our like sunscreens and just like all the things that we 
might need after being at the pool or on our friend's boat or you know whatever and um it kind of gets messy but like i said this material is like water resistant or liquid spill resistant whatever you want to call it basically and so it keeps it all nice and clean and i'm just loving it loving loving this i have a couple of other bags in a variety of different sizes that i just I love it so like I said I have a full video about that if you want to check that out for yourself I will link that above okay now for entertainment so first of all I just want to say I'm like a huge like <laughs> I was gonna say like a huge TV watcher I'm really not so like when it comes to watching TV I really I really don't watch TV much except for like at the very end of the night and when I do watch TV, I'm a really bad, I'm like really bad about re-watching shows that I already know that I love. So, um, this, this section has been a little bit tough for me, but, um, I tried to like really like think about what I like have been taking in as like my form of entertainment. So here we are. First of all, I am a, a big Taylor Swift fan. I'm not going to call myself a Swifty because like those people are like die hard, like good for them, like so proud of you. I can't say that I'm like die hard Taylor Swift fan, but I do really love her music. So Tortured Poets Department, the album has been released, the double album actually, and I've been really into that. Um, that has been like a big one for me. Another big one is actually um, Bridgerton. So I follow Bridgerton ever since it began because I really am into that English, like old English um, vibe that that show has. Like I think that's why I'm so drawn to the Grand Floridian if you are, know what I'm talking about or have seen any of those vlogs. Um, I just love that vibe altogether. And so um, that show has just been like huge for me. With that, I've also followed Queen Charlotte so I, I had to recently watch Queen Charlotte after the first half of season three has been had came out I was like oh my gosh I forgot to watch Queen Charlotte so I watched that one and then finished season three so if you are also a Bridgerton fan holler at me I love Bridgerton I I just I love the storyline I just love I love all of it I love the vibes in it it's just so like it's so like regal almost kind of I just love it I think it's really cute and fun oh so, um another artist that I'm really into right now which is probably not for everybody is the artist is called Cautious Clay I don't listen to all of his stuff but um I've found a couple of songs recently that I really enjoy um and I just think it's really fun so if you listen to him I'll be really surprised but impressed um, so that's the, that's the second to last one. And then my last one is my new iPad. So, um, for my birthday, my sweet husband got me my iPad and it has been a game changer for me because I, I'm able to do all things with it, including edit videos just like this so much easier. And, um, I just have been loving it. So I actually have a picture that I took on our last trip of the grand from the boat dock. Oops, it turned off. And then I have a phone case that has all the things that I love on here. I say all the things that I love. I actually was gifted most of these stickers. Actually, all of these stickers except for this one. We came across this one at Wally's, which is a gas station. But loving it. Loving it makes my life so much easier, frankly, to edit and do all the things that I need to do for YouTube on top of all the other fun things I can do with it. So. That is that. Now we're on to personal wear. So to start off with personal wear, one second, let me set this down. So first things first, I have, I love earrings. Earrings are probably like my number one form of jewelry for myself. Um, I'm really not a huge like jewelry wearer. I like to be, I'd like to be better about wearing jewelry, but I really don't wear a whole lot of it. But I love a good pair of earrings that I can just have as like my everyday earrings. And so I've re recently purchased these, which I think they're called huggy earrings. But it's basically like a bar and then it loops around my ear. I don't know how well you can see that. Sorry, it's like sticking out weird. But it's called a huggy earring because there's no back to it necessarily. It just hugs the bottom of your earlobe. And I just really have found myself just loving these. They're very dainty. Like they're not super gaudy or anything like that like you definitely can't like wear them to like dress up with 
but I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I just think that they're so cute and easy to wear. I don't have to worry about losing a back to them or anything like that. I just loop them in and they're done. So that has been a new purchase of mine that I have just been loving. Um, so that's number one. Number two is this Align. And this is by the Redken brand. And it's actually a protective smoothing lotion. So whenever I went to cosmetology school, I was really like we were a summit salon cosmetology school so it was based on a summit salon ranking which is basically a level program so there's different levels of cosmetologists that you can be and so with that there is summit salon product lines and one of them is redken and so i was always really familiar with this product i always loved it in my hair i felt like it like really helped just manage my hair like I said before I have very thick very coarse hair and it's actually pretty frizzy um, if I don't tame it there has been some videos on my channel where I didn't really do anything much with it and it was like really wavy and I don't know if I would say it like necessarily like I don't know if I would say it was like frizzy but it was definitely like very wavy and very big and so whenever I use any kind of like blow dryer anything on my hair I always put this in my hair and it makes my hair so soft and just tamed it like helps my hair be more smooth it's just amazing um now I say all of that and I'm pretty sure they just recently rebranded to where this might not be a product anymore um I'm sure they have something very very like probably the exact same product is just branded differently um if not, I've been recommended a different product. I can't remember what it's called now. It's like pillow something. I don't think it's pillow proof, although it might be. I'll find that out for you and I will link it below because I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but I highly recommend this if you're able to get your hands on it or find it anywhere. Love this product. I feel like it just completely transforms my hair. But it is heat activated, so putting it in your hair without actually using heat on it won't really do much for you. Um, but there you go. Another thing that I actually forgot to include in the home decor product is this baby wear carrier thing. I don't really know exactly how to call it. It's a baby hip carrier is what the product name says. So basically there is this buckle that you unbuckle and there is velcro that opens it up and it's a belt it's a belt bag so you put this around your waist i'm not going to fully put it on properly but then you velcro it and then you buckle it and once it's velcroed and buckled onto you you have something that's stable to hold all your baby with so you can set your baby on there and it relieves your arm slightly so you're not like wearing out your arm you have something to set your baby on this has changed everything and frankly i really wish we had it on our last disney trip because it would have helped a whole whole lot so um it actually this one specifically i i actually was gifted this by um, the friend of mine that I watch her kids for, she gifted this to me for my birthday, but this one has like so many different forms of storage. There's actually dog hair all over it right now because we have a German shepherd and it never ends. But basically you can unzip this and there is storage in here. And then there's actually a pocket right here. And then there is a cup holders type pocket on this side. And then... As far as this side goes, there's actually a loop. So if you have like a pacifier, I don't know, whatever you might want to loop here. And then there's a pocket right beside that. And then there's like a little pocket on the outside of this pocket. So lots of forms of storage. And actually this one specifically came with like a wet bag, a, um, it, it looks like a grocery bag, but it's like the same material as a wet bag. It came with like a plastic ziplock, like a reusable like zip block, zip block type of bag. Um, and then it came with a, like a microfiber cloth. I don't really necessarily know why it came with all of those things, but um, it did. And I have actually used the wet bag quite a lot. And I 
I highly recommend this one. If I can find it on Amazon still, I will link it below for you. I'm pretty sure that's where she ordered it from. But highly recommend this. And actually, I meant to mention this too. On the buckle itself, there's a lock button. So you can slide this one way or another. Here, let me see. Okay, you lock it by pushing it down. And then you want to unlock it. It says open. And then you push it upwards. And then you can unbuckle it. So that way the lock is locked. So the buckle itself is locked. Your baby won't fall because it gives out on you. So that is that. Another thing is I, you can't see right now because I actually ended up putting mascara on, but I have recently gone and got my hair, my eyelashes tinted. So in a, actually, I don't know if I released that video or not. I actually got them tinted a month or two ago. So they're starting to really grow out now and you're not quite able to see the tinting to them. That's why I have mascara on today. But they, I have actually, I think I have some pictures that I might be able to put up here. But I went to a lash salon where they do, you know, lash extensions and they do lash, I don't know if they call them like lash lifts or lash perms or whatever you want to call them, where they basically perm your eyelashes more upward so you don't have to curl them and they're more prominent sticking like out more like pronounced like how you would want your eyelashes to look more full and things like that well and they also do lash tinting and so I actually got that done because it is the summer now and with it, like going to the pools and you know just whatever you don't want to put like a bunch of makeup on in the summer at least I don't so I have blonde hair and blonde eyelashes so if I don't wear like mascara you can't really see them so I decided to go and get them tinted and I've been obsessed with it. That has been a huge plus to my day-to-day -day, like grooming routine, I guess. Like I basically just put on my skincare stuff and then I curl my eyelashes and I'm ready to go. So love, love, love that. Highly recommend it. It's really not all that expensive. I think I paid... I want to say like 20 to 25 dollars to get them colored and then um i actually thought about getting my eyelashes lifted or permed or whatever you want to call them because i do not to toot my own horn but i have very long eyelashes so putting lash extensions on i feel like would not like benefit me very well um but getting them kind of like curled and more permanently like pronounced would make it even better so that has been something that i have done for myself and have loved love love um, so that's a big one for me also. And then the last thing for this category before we get to the priceless category is I've been getting my nails. Let me see if I can make them focus. I've been getting dipped nails. So basically you go in and you get them, you know, so, which these are really grown out now, but you get them clipped down to whatever size you want. You tell them, they'll bring you like a book of like all these different colors, at least around us. They do. Sorry. I could just focus it on myself here um they will bring you like a book of all the colors that they have for dip and they basically like put on a clear nail polish dip your nail into this powder and they will do that a couple different times and then they will um you know like buff it down so it's all smooth and it's all like just well like well groomed basically and then they will put a top coat on and they will put it under the light like the led light or whatever it's called and the, or the UV light maybe is what it's called and they will cure it and then it's hard like like um what are those called like fake nails I don't know exactly what that's called um but I have been loving it because whenever it's the summer and you're getting in and out of the pool again with the pool stuff um my nails will chip like almost immediately and so I like this because my nails also once they get to a certain length they will break and then like that also makes them feel like it's just like a waste of my money if I don't get something that's a little bit more solid. Um, so I really have been enjoying doing that. It makes me feel a lot more feminine. Um, and so this is actually my natural nail. So I don't know if you can like see that very well, but those are my natural nails. And typically they're, I have a blood blister, don't mind that. But I don't actually like my nails very long. These are grown out a lot more, but um 
I just have really been enjoying it. I just think it's really nice. It's been fun. Um, so I've been going, I've been going about every two weeks, but to be honest, it gets a little bit pricey when you start doing that. So I might start pulling back and doing like, I don't know, once a month or something like that. But I have been really enjoying getting some me time at the salon and doing my nails and stuff like that. So that is the last one for personal wear. Quickly, I want to go over my price list category, starting with, let's see, starting with a social media free summer. Okay, so about two weeks before my son had his last day of kindergarten, I was thinking about how um, I was getting super influenced by stuff going on on social media. And I don't, I'm not typically somebody, like, I like being influenced in a, in a way, you know what I mean? Like, I, like, I'm cool for that. But once it starts getting to where, like, it, I'm, like, getting nervous about stuff that I don't, like, enjoy or just, like, I'm spending too much time on it, um, which was another big thing. So, like, I'm not on TikTok or anything like that. But, like, once you start getting into, like, the reels on Instagram and stuff like that, it's like a it's like a black hole. You can't get yourself to stop. Um, it's called, like, doom scroll, scrolling, I'm pretty sure. But um, I was like, man, like, I need to, I would rather, like, spend more quality time with my kids than doom scroll on Instagram like uncontrollably, which obviously it's controllable, but um, I just decided that during the summer I wanted to try going social media free. So if you messaged me or had tried to interact with me at any point during the summer so far on Instagram and I haven't responded, it's not anything personal. It's just because I haven't actually been on Instagram all summer long so far. And honestly, I'm kind of like sitting here contemplating whether or not I want to hop back on once summer is coming to an end only because I've been really enjoying being social media free. It's been, it's been really nice. So that is that. Um, so that is the first one. It's been really great. I feel a lot more toned into myself and my kids and my home and my area that I live in and like the things just, I just feel a lot more toned in if you know what I'm saying. Something else that is priceless, which I already kind of discussed, is my son had his very last day of kindergarten at the end of May, and that is crazy to me. I actually posted, one of the last things I posted on Instagram was a picture of him on his first day of kindergarten and then on his last day of kindergarten, and the transition between the two is insane. Um, he's grown so much in so many different ways, and he looks so much older now, which is just bizarre to me, and it's just been wild i remember crying the day before he started kindergarten thinking my little baby is going to kindergarten i can't believe it you know it's the end of an era of him being at home with me solely and now i was crying on the last day of his school day because i was like i can't believe that he's already finished kindergarten he's about to be a first grader it's wild so that is something that's truly priceless to me that he's just getting older and it's just such a bittersweet thing um, another big one is that I've been going on evening walks, which has been so soothing because as I have talked about in previous videos, I have five children running around my house on a day-to-day -day basis during the summer, and that is a lot. So by the end of the day, I am ready to put my headphones on and just go for a walk and get some of that pent-up energy out, and that has done wonders for me in more than one way. So I've been really enjoying that. I've also been getting back into in tune with listening to music, as I had mentioned in my, what was it, entertainment category. I have been getting back into stuff that I actually enjoy listening to and like older music that I love. And it's just been really nice. We have these over the head headphones that my husband and I both share and just putting them in. I run, I, I say run, I walk, I power walk about three miles every single time that I do that. And it's just been really nice. So that is a big one for me as well. And then lastly has been that my daughter is nearing the two-year-old stage. So she is, I think she's about 20 to 21 months old now, and she is all in on Frozen. It is her favorite thing. She sings Let It Go all the time. She is all in on that on that bit on that movie which I guess I kind of like put that in her mind because we have like frozen like throw blankets that she uses like in her bed at night and stuff like that so that was already there and then um we took her to Epcot at the beginning I would say at the beginning from at the end of March and early April we took her to Epcot and rode frozen ever after that was the thing that we rope like rope dropped and um it was just really fun I think she really enjoyed that and now she I caught her one day just in the kitchen saying, let it go, let it go. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you singing let it go? And that was like months ago. Um, it was just 
so cute so sweet now it's like a full-on obsession she has to sleep with her little Olaf that we got her from Disney and she just loves it she just loves it and I just think that that is so sweet that's what I looked forward to whenever I found out I was having a girl is being able to enjoy like the princess love and obsession that I had whenever I was growing up so that is truly priceless to see my almost two-year-old singing let it go like so sweet so with that that is the end of my I think all of my categories so um, like I said, anything that I mentioned that I can possibly link for you, I will do that down below. Um, I'm going to pop open my Olipop real quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to have fun with it and truly name all the fun things and things that I've been loving and enjoying, um, within the past two months. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.